We are doing an unboxing today on the new Roborock S4. This is the new bought out by the company Roborock. They have the S5, which has been out for a few years and has got excellent reviews. The S5 has got five star reviews on Amazon and is priced uh, retail right around $500. This Roborock uh, hit the shelves uh, on Amazon at a price of $399.99. So at $400, uh, I'm interested to see how well this does against the S5. So this is gonna be an unboxing video. Uh, I also own a Neato D7, so I figured it'd be interesting to put this head to head with the Neato D7, so look for that video coming out uh, in the next week or two. Uh, we'll put these head to head in my house and see, uh, can this $400 robot beat the American Neato D7, which is twice, actually more than twice the price of this one. So, uh, this is a bit of robot wars here, but anyway, back to the unboxing. This is the box that comes in. Nothing special, just a brown cardboard box. 12 month limited warranty, which of course the only place right now to buy this is Amazon. So you always are protected at least for 30 days with Amazon. The box opens up like this. It's like we have a, a cleaning brush standard brush and a hair cutter blade right here to run along the roller. This is the app connect to network guide. Looks like a quick start guide of sorts. Just tells you how to download and install the app and then add the vacuum. Power cord. A bigger user manual, a full user manual. And here we have the only color choice for the S4, which is black. And so there is the plastic covering, and interestingly enough, we have the new blade, which is on the S6, which is a uh, um, a brush, a uh, rubberized tipped uh, five spoke brush instead of the bristles that you see on the S5. So let's open this up. And here already we see the new brush roller that we have recently found on the S6. This is supposed to be an improved brush roller here, and it is in the middle, and unlike the S5, it has been moved a little bit further forward. This is a side brush, front wheel. Looks like a few sensors here on the bottom. Uh, your standard rubberized wheels that you see on all of these. That is the bottom. Now to the top. We've also got a washable help HEPA filter, which is um, always nice to be able to wash those and not have to constantly replace them. So the new thing is this fluorescent, uh, not fluorescent, uh, this clear top here where you can see through the black and it's, and it's just a little bit right here. You're supposed to be able to see how full the waste bin is. Uh, we'll have to see right now. Uh, it's hard to tell whether or not you can see if it's full or not. Um, the top just lifts up uh, the whole thing lifts up we've got a button right here single button looks like here on the front and here is the laser guided navigation the lidar system right here I'll get you a little closer here so there's just a small little lip up here where you lift this and QR code little advertisement, not much there. This is the new waste bin, which is, I think, bigger than, so that just lifts straight out. Instead of popping out, pull this, two fingers around it, lift straight out. And uh, this is the washable filter, so it comes with two filters. One new one in a pack, and then this one attached to the bin. Looks like that stays on, and here's how you dump it from the front. So that's great. You don't have to take the filter off 
in order to dump the waste bin. This just folds out and lets you dump it. Uh, it looks like it may be about the same size as my Nido D7, maybe a little bit smaller. But uh, that's the dustbin, the dustbin out. Uh, fairly wide opening there. I believe that opening is actually uh, larger. This opening right here we're talking about where the brush roller picks up and throws uh, the debris into the dustbin. That opening does appear to be a little bit bigger than the uh, Neato D7 opening. Pop it back in, close this, and then last but not least is the charging station for this. And one of the things that's different about the S4 is now, like the S5, and I'm not sure about the S6, I think the S6 has the other style like the S5. This has the bars across the back, it's the same thing Neato uses. Uh, to back itself up to the uh, charging contacts here on the charging dock, these right here. So this robot will back itself up and can have a pretty wide angle to back itself up to and still make contact with the base here. So the base looks like we've got a fold down back door here. It allows you to wrap your excess cord around, that way you don't have a bunch of uh, cord laying around for the robot vacuum to suck up later. So that's a nice feature in addition there. And I like that it's covered. Uh, cover feels a little flimsy. And I should note also that um, uh, I bought this robot with my own money off of Amazon. Um, at the time they were giving a $40 off coupon. So uh, this is not a paid promotion. Uh, this is uh, going to be my honest review. And so far I think it looks really good out of the box. The whole front thing is a bumper. It actually looks really high quality. I'm pretty impressed so far. Of course, the judgment will be saved until we put it up against the Neato D7 and see which one cleans better. So for that, stay tuned. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And if you are considering purchasing an S4 yourself, or if you have an S5 or S6, and uh, you're curious about uh, the uh, S4 uh, com, uh, per performance and what I think about it, I'll drop a comment below. Appreciate it. Thanks.